Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to cut a sunga wing. Um, when you're making these uh, these mongers or, or, or other salmon and sea trout flies, it's 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 very important, very crucial that you have uh, sunker wings that are that that are tapering because this will give your fly a much more live. Uh, 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 it will the fly will, will swim much better in the water, and that is something you really really want. So I'm going to show you now how to make a wing like this um, from uh, from these uh, these these uh, these furs from. Uh, from from future fly the quality of the future fly skins here is just absolutely phenomenal absolutely exceptional uh, and and the reason for this basically the, the most important reason is that the skin here the leather here is so uh, so <laughs> absolutely uh, marvelous and thin which makes it more easy to to actually to actually do these these flies and also it will give them um, your fly a lot more movement, a lot more movement in the water. This is a bit stiff because it has already been in the water. You can see it. It I actually caught a salmon on this one, uh, so it's a bit it's a bit roughed up, um, but uh, but it really 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 adds uh, adds a lot of life to the fly if you do this correctly. So when you open a package of this uh, this future fly hair, you will find a, find a nice big piece of, of skin of, of fur of, of, of fur like this uh, on the on the leather. So what you want to do is is you want to cut a piece out of this that is actually a bit too wide because that allows you to make this uh, give uh, make this this uh, this effect very very well. So I take my my scalpel here, and it's important you have something that is sharp, so you can penetrate the 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 leather here. And I'm gonna do like this. Simply gonna cut, not cut into the hairs, but only cut, cut the 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 skin here, the leather. Like so. As you can see, if you do this carefully, there is a, there is not not hairs a bit hairs lost, but not very much, and you still have something that is usable. So now I have this, um, and and what's also very important about this is uh, the actual amount of hairs on on a, on a piece of fur like uh, skin like this, uh, leather like this is is very very high for for, uh, for higher than than on most other materials you will find, and you can of course apply this to 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 rabbit and stuff like that as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm simply just going to cut a bit across here because I don't need uh, this much. I'm just gonna. Actually, it's easier if I if I already now uh, attach it to my uh, to my uh, to my lobster grip. Simply just cut across here like that. As you can see, if you have sharp tools, then this becomes way, way easier. So, and now you can actually uh, you can actually make two wings. I'm just gonna I'm gonna make a, a long and very, very thin one that tapers a lot here. So I simply attach this into the uh, into the lobster grip. Something you can add to your vise. They're not very expensive, and uh, and they're truly worth worth uh, worth uh, the money if if you plan to to make uh, make these uh, these fairly long wings. You can also uh, you can also make some some killer sun ray shadows uh, uh, with uh, with fur instead of uh, instead of goat. But what we do then is, is simply I take my scalpel here, and I poke through the fur through the through the leather, and then I simply just. all the way down to the end like so and I hold this off to the side I'm gonna do the same thing in the other side here again I take and then I I stretch it out so it's it's straight and uh, and then I simply just poke a small hole and then I'm gonna cut here oh I messed up a bit there not much but a bit like so and as you can see practically no hairs were, were lost here and now I have this wonderful wonderful tapering tapering wing here and I can just cut it off up here like that and then I have this 
perfectly perfectly tapering piece of uh, piece of, of leather with a lot of hairs on it still and and this will really really swim a lot out in the water this is a piece of of of, uh, of, of leather and, and the piece I chose as you can see here um, the uh, the hairs gets uh, gets uh, smaller and smaller out from uh, from the middle and and out so so it depending on where you when where you where you cut this you will get the different different wing uh, wing sizes but this you can you can tie down and you will get a wing that really really moves insane in the water you lose of course a bit of skin and uh, and I've been experimenting a bit with instead of actually actually uh, pulling the scalpel this way you can maybe do it the other way and and get two wings from from a piece uh, a piece of fur like this but but uh, this is uh, this is the sure way to do it so experiment a bit um, at home and uh, and you really really get some some nice nice uh, tapering uh, tapering um, uh, tapering songo wings with uh, with uh, the uh, <laughs> the the truly truly amazing movement in the water, and uh, of course uh, the colors of, of these skins are also just incredible, really really incredible, and uh, and also this this opossum um, and also rabbit from uh, from Future Fly really really is amazing. So uh, well that was basically just a, a little tutorial on uh, on how exactly to do this and uh, and the lobster grip and the sharp scalpel really really is 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 the key to to the success here. Um, so, well, if you want to, uh, and of course you can apply this exact same method to 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 any songer songer wings that you buy. If you buy, let's say, three millimeter uh, rabbit string skins that's already been pre-cut and stuff like that, simply take your simply take your your lobster grip, uh, mount mount the mount the leather and and cut away. That works as well. So basically that's how to how to cut uh how to cut a songa wing that will swim way way better than you know just the the standard stuff straight out of the package. Well, I hope this was a useful tutorial um and of course be sure to uh, be sure to subscribe uh, and uh, and then please 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 comment uh, in the commentary box below here. I would appreciate that very much. So thank you very much and uh, well hope you catch some salmons. <laughs>